Welcome to Pins and Things! Today, to start off our Nightmare Before Christmas playlist, we are going to be making Zero! Hi, you are such a good doggy! <laughs> the first thing that we're going to do is take a box, and this is cut in kind of a triangle, so this is how the box is normally. It doesn't matter what kind of box, but next, I have a couple other things that are just like things that I found in my recycling that I can use to build up the head. So let's get started on the head. I'm gonna use some packing paper too to kind of build up what kind of shapes I want in the head. So let's do the head first. Zero's head is very much like a, kind of like a curved teardrop. So we're just gonna use all of these different things to kind of give us that shape. Oh yeah, I can see it already. I'm gonna use some tape and just wrap it up and then I can use more paper to build up where I need more build up. So putting a layer of paper around the outside is going to kind of help to smooth it into the shape that I want, otherwise it's going to be a little bulgy in weird areas. <laughs> I think that's already looking pretty good. Now we just need to build up the kind of circular part of the head right here. So I've just used a lot of garbage because garbage is plentiful. I've literally just been trying to shape it into a ball and into the shape that I think that the head needs to be a little bit at a time, using patience and a lot of tape and a lot of garbage. <laughs> Now I'm gonna build up a very short neck just to have something for the head to rest on so that we can put our material over the top of this form. Yeah, that's more like it. Tape everything down. Now that we have our form all built, I'm just taking the material that I have and draping it over the top of my form. And this is gonna help me to kind of see how big my triangle needs to be. So I'm pushing it in a little bit next to the neck because I want it to be able to go, to go all the way around the neck. And then I added a little bit of a cardboard tail just to give it a little bit detail. I think that's gonna help it. This material that I'm using is nylon, I think, but you can use any kind of a thin white material. Yours might be a different size box. I I really am just eyeballing it. Eyeballing it does not mean it's impossible if you don't have exact measurements. So I would just droop it over the top of whatever form you have. I'm gonna cut it into a square first and then I'm gonna trim it into my triangle. All right, I have my rectangle now. I folded it in half. This is going to be where the front of our neck is. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a guide where I need to cut it. And then we're going to make a line from this corner down to these corners. And I don't have a ruler or yardstick, so I'm just using this giant box. <laughs> Yay, garbage! <laughs> okay, now it's time to cut out our pattern. I'm laying this out for you so you can see exactly the shape that I have here. So it's basically a spot cut out for the neck and a giant triangle. Here's the head. I've got the material, and I'm just going to actually lay the material kind of over the top of the head. I'm going to actually trim the material so that it just has enough and not too much material. We don't want it to be like super bunchy. I am so excited for this next step. So I am taking some hot glue and I've got my triangle laid out flat on the table. I also have some, I think this is 12 gauge, 16 gauge something wire. This wire is just steel galvanized wire. Basically put hot glue down and then put my wire on top of that. Do that around the entire outside edge of our triangle. I have a dog leash here that I got for just super cheap. I'm sure that you can pick these up at like the dollar store. I think you could even use a ribbon if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be necessarily a dog leash. Part of the reason why I got this specific dog leash is because when I pinched it, I could tell that wire would fit down through the middle of it. That's actually what I'm doing right now. I think this is just like a nylon dog leash and I'm just pinching it to make it so that I can get this through the middle. Woo! Okay, the wire is all through the entire leash and I've trimmed it to a point where if I was holding it, it would actually float on the ground, like above the ground and not be touching the ground. That's what we want. So now that I have it done like this, I'm actually going to wrap my wire around the neck and then we're going to bring it spine into the whole thing and then bring it back up through the leash. And I've just twisted it together so it kind of holds together more like one strand of wire instead of two. Oh, it's gonna be so good! 
I'm excited. Now I'm actually gonna wrap it around the neck one more time. I'm actually gonna put the waves into this right now that I want it to have, the curves that I want it to have. Oh my goodness. Time to glue the back of the tail together. I'm gluing actually the backbone here into the back of the tail. I'm just gonna hold that until it's dry. It's always hard when you have a project like this that I feel like it could be done about a billion different ways. I'm sure some of you will watch it and go, I wonder why she didn't do it this easier way. Well, it's just a matter of figuring it out as you go and using what you've got. I think that ultimately it will turn out great many different ways. It can be done so many different ways. And now I'm just gluing down the material a little bit at a time. I took a little break and now I'm back. So, the part that I'm at right now is I have almost finished attaching all of the material onto the head. This part, I wanna make sure that it's as close to the head as possible. The problem that I'm running into with this though, underneath is made of a darker material than on top. So it's white on the top and when you put the hot glue down, it shows the color underneath. What I'm going to do to be able to resolve that issue is I have a white sock. I'm gonna actually stretch this over the entire head and that's gonna help me in a few different ways. It's gonna hold all of the material close to the head that's on here so that if it's bunched or gathered, it doesn't look so bunched and gathered and it will look a lot more smooth and it will just hold everything together really tight. I think you can get these for like 50 cents at Walmart in the like, they have these little capsules with nylons in them. This is gonna help to smooth everything out. If I can get it over this fat head. <laughs> Yeah! Now I've put the neck into all of the wire and I'm just gonna do a layer of hot glue all the way around to make sure that it's stuck in place really well. And now it's time to glue the rest of the body to the head right here in the corner. And then we're almost done! I am using a red ribbon from Christmas. It's just a very thin one. You can use felt, you can use pretty much any kind of material as long as it's red. We're just making a collar for the neck. This is a good opportunity to cover anything that might look not very good. All of the wires, if I can cover the wires, that will make it look pretty nice, I think. So for the nose, Zero actually has a tiny little pumpkin that's like, you could probably get some made out of plastic either in the like Halloween section or on Amazon, but right now it is January. So I only have an orange Easter egg and I'm actually using the tip of the Easter egg that's pointy and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue and glue it onto the nose. The thing about this is when Halloween comes I can always change it and make it look a little bit more specific to what he actually looks like but for right now this is what we're gonna do. We have one of our eyes here and I'm just trimming it out of black felt and now that I have the shape that I want and the size that I want I'm going to just make a second one of them. I'm getting starting to get excited, getting to the point where it's actually coming together. It's time to glue the eyeballs down. I'm working on the ears. I'm almost finished with them. I just am holding it in the right place, gluing, and I'm even adding little bits of material onto the back just to give it a little bit more stability. They don't have a ton of weight to hold up, but enough that they need a little bit more help. These ears are made almost the exact same way as the rest of the body, just in a different shape with the material, with the wire on the outside and the material on the inside, and it's all glued together. Now it's time to add the finishing touch. After we've added on to ears, and there's a lot of adjusting wires in this, making sure that you push it up high enough so that it can actually lay the way that we want it to. Lots of adjusting, but we got it right. We've got pipe cleaners. This is going to be his smile because Zero is always smiling. He's such a happy dog. And I've actually doubled it. I've just folded it over on the end for about two inches. I think that makes it so that it looks like his mouth a little bit more in the movie. I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time. Oh, it looks good! I like it! I feel like this is a lot more simple than adding on the open mouth because it's kind of a little bit more complicated, adding a lot more different pieces. So this is good because it gives it a mouth, but it still looks really good. All right, it's finished. What do you guys think? Here's how the mouth turned out. I think it was perfect. It doesn't need to be anything more complicated than that. This is the simplified way and I think it turned out great. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and every single day on the beach house over here. Also click over here and you can see my Jack Skellington fingernails. And I have more Nightmare Before Christmas videos coming very soon, so stay tuned for that because they're gonna be amazing. See you guys next time.